What's up makers, it's part two of our multi-way switches episode. Last week, we set up our circuit and added a switch to it and showed you how to integrate that with Home Assistant. In this episode, we're gonna add more switches to the circuit and we're going to show you how to clean up the clutter in Home Assistant. So, enjoy. So, okay, so you've built the circuit Another circuit, additionally yeah. to the first circuit. Yeah. We now build a second circuit with um, even more switches. Okay. With the two three-way switches on the end and a four-way switch in the middle. Okay. And we remember that we have the two traveler lines, which right. are either passing through or are crossed, yeah. like in the Make yeah. Money Basic yeah. episode. Mm -hmm. It works, but um, we need to include somehow the um, relay board yes. with, the, with the Home Assistant. Yes. Um, we could either replace one of the three-way switches with one relay, as okay. we did before. But what if we um, want to let the three-way switch where it is and still use it? Correct. So we need some um, some concept to to use uh, relays as a four-way switch. Mm. That is possible, and I think we should um, include the schematics in the description so you can uh, see it a little bit more clearer. We basically connect the a normally open port from one um, relay with a normally closed port from the other relay okay. and the other way around. All right. The both uh, relays here mm -hmm. are um, working together as a four-way switch. Okay. So we can okay. include it in between a four-way switch and the three-way switch or another four-way switch depending on how many four-way switches you have. Okay. So we need to do that. Please turn off the power. I'll turn off the power. Thank you. And we um, are making that in between of the two switches here. Between those two switches. So we um, cut off the travelers in between the two switches. Okay. And let them into one of the two um, relays. Okay. Be aware of a short circuit that you really just uh, use one of uh, one of the two relays. So one normally open and one normally closed um, right. part of one relay. Okay. And to complete the circuit here to the other switch, we need some new wires, which are coming from the relays, from the output of the relay, into the last switch, into the, to the uh, freeway switch. Mm -hmm. So we are connecting that. Okay, so all of your wiring is done. Yep. Okay, we have our three-way switch. We got that one in between the two switches, the four-way switch and the three-way switch. So shall I turn the power back on and we test this to see if it's working? Yes, please. And uh, let's try the, the switches first. Mm-hmm, works. And now let's try the relays. Mm -hmm. We have, um, here's the point where we, um, I told you before that we have connected the relay two and three together, so they are getting switched at the same time via the home assistant relay okay. two and three. Um, these are on the same GPIO, so if we press the relay two and three, both relays um, are toggling at the same time, mm -hmm. and uh, in that matter they they work as a four-way switch. We simulate That's a four-way switch. Exactly, exactly. So if we um, press the switch here on the home assistant, it changes the active traveler as a four-way switch would do it. And so it turns it on and nice. works in both ways. Okay. Perfect. So now we need to do the same thing as before. Yeah. We need to have some kind of feedback loop because it's the same problematic as before that the home assistant doesn't know if the light is already on or off. Right. So we are building the same thing as before with a transformer. Would you please turn the power off again? I will. That's very kind. Thank you. And are Be connecting. kind to your colleagues. <laughs> Keep him alive. <laughs> Keep him alive, folks. Keep him alive, folks. I'm connecting this to the lamp as we did before. The more easy setup. So we need to connect the transformer to the Raspberry Pi GPIOs. 
so the the ground pin has to go on ground obviously and the 3.3 volt power needs to go on the breadboard somewhere and we need to connect that pin with GPIO 21. Okay. Yeah, 21. So transformer setup. Transformer setup, and we already had the configuration in the Home Assistant configuration YAML. Right. Just take a look at this Vim, Vim configuration YAML and uh, scroll down to the sensor part where we had the binary sensors included. And on port 9, we had Endor, yeah. which is the second sensor. Right. So if we um, close the configuration YAML and go back to our Home Assistant, we have our sensor over there on the top next to our Yavin, which is the first light. We have our Endor sensor, which is the second light. And if you start the power, the power. and we hit one of the switches, we see Endor is going on. And if we swap the relay, the sensor status is going to turn off. Mm -hmm. Again, it's turn, it, it uh, takes a few seconds because of the energy storage of the right. transformer, but now we can see it's off. So it's the same problem as before. We have a sensor and a switch and mm. we need to combine the two. Okay. So we did that in the configuration YAML and we do that exactly in the same way again. Okay, back in our configuration YAML. I already prepared the second template switch. So again, we have the platform template, the switch light 2 with the friendly name Endor. Okay. Um, the value of the template is, again, the is state of the binary sensor, in this case Endor, the sensor from the, the, the GPIO sensor from the transformer, and um, the, the service which um, is activated when you, when you press the switch is uh, toggling the switch relay 2 and 3. That was the name of the, yeah. of the switch. So now in our, um, if, we, if we go back, to our uh, home assistant. We need to check the configuration. If it's valid, it is valid, and we need to restart the home assistant, as we do always, and wait a few seconds. Uh, home assistant has restarted, mm -hmm. and look at that, we have a new switch. Huh. It's Endor. It's the template switch we, oh, I pressed it. <laughs> you did press it. <laughs> that is the template switch, click. <laughs> it and does you see work. It, it does work. It switches the relay two and three, and the um, state is on. Okay. So now, if we swap one of the switches here, the relay two and three must stay on. And right. after a few seconds, Endor has to turn off yeah. because of the sensor value is turning off. So we wait a few seconds, mm -hmm. and now we, we can go. see the switch is off. Nice. Perfect. And relay two and three is still on. Relay two and three is still on. So if we make it on again and off here, relay is going off. The endo switch again is going on because of the energy storage. Yeah. And after a few seconds, it is just going off. Okay. Perfect. Pretty cool. Now you can see um, our dashboard here is getting more and more uh, messy, especially if you have a big house with a lot of switches. Yeah. Like that and screen could get pretty cluttered. Yeah because you have so many switches over there and the sensor is on the top and we need to clean that up a little yeah, okay. bit. Okay, back at our uh, Raspberry Pi, we need to go on our in our customize.yaml with Vim. Mm -hmm. not, in the, not in the configuration. Not in the configuration, but Customize.yaml. So in our customize YAML, I already pre prepared um, the things we customize. Mm. Um, for every sensor and relay, we uh, afterwards uh, configure what is customized. So okay. in this case, hidden true because we want, want to hide it. We want to hide it. Yeah. So we write and close it, and go back to our front end. Mm -hmm. 
check the config if it's valid. Looks good. Looks good. And restart the Home Assistant. So Home Assistant is back on track. Thank goodness. And we see all of our uh, sensors are uh, hidden now and the switches too. Mm -hmm. Just the Endor and the Yavin switch are left. Much more manageable. And if you want to test it. I do. Mm -hmm. I'll hit this one. Do it. And Boom, there we go. It's on. Hit the other one. Let me do that one. Takes a few seconds. But if you want to, you can um, turn on the other light in the meantime. Wait. Boom, oh. The other one is on and, and this one is off. off. So it's very nice, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> So is that it? That's it? That's it. That's it. So now, <laughs> so now you know how to do this at home. We'd love to hear your comments and thoughts about what we put together. Um, and Patrick, our newest maker, will we be seeing you in a future episode, Patrick? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely it's got not. nothing else. <laughs> this is it. That's all I, I think it's great. I think it's, uh, it'll be interesting to hear what you guys think. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell so you get notifications when we put up new Maker Monday videos, and we'll see you next time. We should mention what's in the next episode. What is in the next episode, <laughs> Patrick? <laughs> what, what's, what yeah, is, because what is I'm it? the showrunner, right? Yeah, I need to know. That Mr. Uh, Director. In the next episode of Make a Monday, we are showing you how to get the Home Assistant data to PRTG, our network monitoring tool, to um, save mm. some historical data. Yes. So you can see historical data. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time <laughs> on Make a Monday. Get out of here. Where we put the smart into smart home. One episode at a time. I'm the presenter, you're the director. What are you doing? <laughs> My territory. <laughs> <laughs>